Ascension Activations, January 2024, a message from the Intergalactic Alliance of Light Beings. From Canadian Psychic Medium, Tracy Mill. Greetings friends and welcome to the energies of January 2024, a month sure to be challenging in some respects and easy in others. Once again, instead of trying to see what the entire year ahead may hold in store for us as a collective, I've been guided to simply take things one month at a time. The Intergalactic Alliance of Light Beings has a wonderful message for the month ahead. Enjoy! To begin, we wish to congratulate you on successfully traversing the incredibly dense energy that was overlaid onto your December experience, an overlay which left many people feeling like a sick and tired emotional yo-yo. Your ability to connect with and decommission negative energy patterns as they arose helped to ensure minimal backtracking or sidetracking was able to take hold long enough to pull you off of your ascension path. The month of January will be similar in intensity, but lighter in density, especially once you begin to receive your next level of activations. On December 25th, 2023, a new connection between Source and Earth was activated that will enhance your direct connection to Source Energy, including Source Solutions in the form of inspiration. That means from this point forward, the more you flex your source connecting muscles, the stronger your intuition and your source connection will become. 2024 is a year where you will again be invited to get to know yourself in a deeper way as your ability to connect directly with source guidance will continue to increase throughout 2024 and beyond. What this means for you is a lessening of second guessing many of you still experience regularly, despite having deep insights and powerful intuition in your own right. In 2024, you will get a chance to become even more comfortable with and trusting of your inner knowing and intuition. The year 2024 begins with the removal of energetic dark anchors from within your physical vessel anchors that allowed for dark consciousness frequencies to take root in the minds and hearts of humanity during the cycle of ages. Now that the cycle of ages is over, we have returned to a permanent light timeline where these energetic anchors are no longer needed. This month will also begin the reactivation of many of your subtle intuitive gifts, including the gift of foresight. These intuitive gifts we speak of are ones you already possess but have had to work hard to master and maintain under the old conditions. The transition between the age of darkness and the age of light is still happening and those interested in this message are more than likely part of a group of souls who intentionally incarnated to be alive during this very significant moment in human history. When the full release of the old ways of doing things are now possible, you are the bridge builders making that possible. This month, many will find your inspiration activated in ways that may surprise you. These activation opportunities will be connected to ideas or concepts that frighten or annoy you, including old emotional triggers that you just have not been able to fully heal before now. Much like a winter storm, you'll be called upon to watch your proverbial footing, even in territories regularly traveled, to ensure you can see past all semblance of smoke and mirror tactics in order to clearly determine your most advantageous path forward. What has been hidden from you will begin to resurface, but this time the new awareness will come with less painful memories and more inspired solutions. Be prepared for new insights, inspiration, aspirations, and curiosity to become the focal point for your mindful musings whenever there is quiet time to be found. These musings represent the next stage in your journey, a creative energizer for you to bring in, ground, embody, and utilize in concert with new source solution energies now flooding your world through your inspired ideas. 
How you choose to embody and channel these creative energies will be up to you, be it constructive or destructive expression. Just remembering that you have a choice of how you can express is half of the battle to mastering these frequencies. To be clear, this energy we speak of must be expressed. It will not be put off to the side for very long. So stay open to taking full responsibility for all inspired action taken in order to avoid regret, stagnation, self-condemnation, or apathy from mucking up your progress. Some will be called to speak up. Others will be called to stay silent and listen instead. However you choose to approach any conflict resolution will be right for you, so stay out of judgment of your choices. Writing someone a letter you never send can be just as powerful a release as a face-to-face -face dramatic confrontation, so stay open and mindful of alternative options. Stay aware of perfectionism programming and release yourself from any and all unreasonable expectations placed on you or by you in the weeks ahead in order to steer clear of some nasty ego traps just waiting to sidetrack your inner dialogue and have you looping back through progress previously made in an attempt to control future outcomes. To do this effectively, those on earth must be willing to give ourselves the permission and space to allow what is beckoning from within us to come to the surface for exploration and examination so that we can avoid creating from our fears instead of our aspirations. That means we will serve ourselves best by staying aware of our internal dialogue and open to the idea that some extra alone time or personal processing time over the next 31 days will be of benefit to all involved in our sphere of influence. Beware as those hosting dark consciousness will become noticeably more unhinged as their old tactics, old approaches and old thought patterns struggle to exist within the new source-based playing field. Clear boundaries will play a key role when it comes to dealing with everyone, especially those people who are happy to take more than their fair share of any given thing at any given time. Many will be called upon to take a stand and say no to those who embrace the art of manipulation to get their own needs served at the expense of others. Remember, when your boundaries are clear, others know exactly where they stand with you and you are able to give of your time, energy, love, etc. from a place of genuine desire, not out of a sense of servitude or in the name of keeping the peace at any price. This includes boundaries around what you're willing to worry about and what you're willing to co-create an alternative outcome for instead. We know we have said this before, but please remember, dear ones, you are very powerful creators when it comes to drawing in situations to experience through your connections with the universal law of attraction. That means in this moment of now, you can consciously choose to say, I do not consent to that idea, or you can inadvertently give your consent away through your focused worry on events yet to come. You all have just as much power to expect a good outcome as a bad one, and yet that freedom is still so often overlooked in your day-to-day -day dealings with yourself and others. The pull to revisit the past with regret will be strong, and we are encouraged to cut energy cords to people, places, situations, and memories that leave you feeling depleted, drained, helpless, hopeless, or confused as soon as we are safe to do so, or clear of the negative or draining energy fields. These cords are designed to connect you to your past, not your now, and have a depleting vibrational frequency interface designed to disrupt your ability to process your emotions while connected to your spiritual core instead of your wounded ego. To clear them, we recommend you envision these cords as sticky burrs 
dusty cobwebs or slimy strings that get stuck to your emotional, mental and belief system bodies after an unpleasant or unusual encounter or the awakening of negative memories that leave you second guessing yourself and your motives. You can sweep them away with your hands, envision sucking them up in an etheric dust buster, walking them into the earth for clearing, or imagine washing them away in the shower at the end of a day before spending time with someone who reminds you of the best parts of yourself, not the worst parts. Though it may feel a little silly to engage your envisioning equipment in this way, the maintenance of this exercise on a daily basis holds the key to surviving the energy grabs that will come your way as wisps of dark consciousness continue to cling to any outlet for expression they can find on the earth plane. Think of this extra cord clearing as necessary spiritual hygiene that will help you to actively disentangle from painful memories, depleting dynamics, personality clashes, and useless power struggles in a way that leaves you feeling free and clear on multiple levels. Many will experience an activation of new desires, new insights, new inspiration, new dreams, new curiosities, and new passions that when followed will lead to new expression, new experiences, new people, and new creations. Recognize that this creative stage is one of questions left unanswered and realize the power to choose which question you will answer first lies completely under your personal authority. Some people will rise to this new energy and step into simply acting in as much personal integrity as possible in any and all situations and those unwilling or unable to do so will reveal themselves quickly. You cannot change how another will choose, but you can always choose how you will respond, adapt, or change as a result. Do your best to stay clear about your true intentions before taking any action that will affect another's journey and check in with your inner self or higher self often to ensure you're following the wisdom of your spirit and not the agenda of your ego. If we were to sum up the energy of 2024 in one word, it would be transformational. This transformation will come in stages just as it did in the year you have just completed. Know that all of the soul work, self-reflection, self-responsibility, and healing that you have achieved thus far has made these next transformational stages possible. Know that the work that you do on yourself and for however you serve the collective is important, integral, and making a magnificent, huge difference in how this transition from a dark timeline to a light timeline is playing out in real time. Trust that inner guidance system of yours to help direct you along your path of least resistance if you dare, and if you give up anything, Give up the idea that life has to be hard, that you were born to struggle, or that your own personal choices don't make a big difference to the overall outcome of this shared reality. And watch as many hidden blessings step forward in relief. A new level in your ascension has been reached, and the new energies now available will begin falling into your reality as gently as snowflakes. All you have to do is stay open to receive. Until next time, in the highest light of love and truth, we are the Intergalactic Alliance of Light Beings. Namaste. Presented by WhatComesNextForYou.com Private consultation available upon request. WhatComesNextForYou.com What's in your future?